What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm walking you through a smoky cranberry tutorial step-by-step. -step. I'm using the brand new Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels palette. This just gave me all of the fall feels in it, um, all of these rich cranberry shades and the warm, rich browns. Feel free to get whatever inspiration from this that gets your creative juices flowing. If you end up recreating this, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your looks. And if you're not ready for fall, but you still love this look, wear this any time of the year honestly with any look you can wear it any time of the year it doesn't really matter i'm just a fall freak and i'm ready for just the cozy feels and the makeup looks fall makeup looks are just my favorite you guys know the drill so here we are we're doing the damn thing let me know all of your fall tutorial requests down below in the comment section i have so many ideas and i'm so excited to start pumping these out so i hope you guys enjoy please subscribe and let's get started so i'm gonna start with my face makeup i'm gonna be using the honest beauty primer this kind of has like a um kind of like a shimmery iridescence to it and my skin right now is a little bit dry i just applied some moisturizer so it's nice and fresh on my skin hopefully my foundation doesn't cake up on my nose um i might add a little bit more of this to my nose than usual but um yeah, just my face in general is really dry right now. For foundation, I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Foundation in the shade LM9. I'm using a Fox 4 brush. I'm just gonna pump it directly on the brush here. Just one pump and then work it into the face. This is a little bit too light for me right now, but once I apply all of my bronzer and just the rest of the face makeup, I should be good jawline and the neck especially because my hair is up sometimes i'll like bring this like back here but also if i have a line of demarcation or you can see that it's like separated i really don't care <laughs> also i'm planning to do a decently dramatic look today i want to use some cranberries and do just a nice like smoldering cranberry blown out smoky eye um so i'm going to show you how if you do your face makeup first how you can prep so that if you get any fallout, it's not gonna stick to your foundation or anything. So I'll walk you through some of my tips and tricks for that. Whatever's left over on my brush, I'm gonna hit the forehead and then the nose very last. Okay. Just a little bit on the nose. See, I'm already flaking, damn it. I'm gonna try going in with a little bit of this primer over the top of this. This might end up not looking good at all, <laughs> but we shall see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'm just gonna have a dry nose today. It is what it is. I'm now gonna go into the matching concealer. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Concealer in LM9. And I'm gonna hit here. And here. And then I have a breakout on my neck, my chin. Just blend this in. I'm using the FO3 brush from Sigma to blend this in. I have a full video on how I apply my foundation, what uh, tips and tricks and techniques I use to make it last all day and make it, um, especially for oily skin, if you have oily skin too, which I know I'm talking about my skin being dry, which you'll see I can actually do these techniques when my skin is drier as well. But especially if you have oily skin, I feel like it's harder for your makeup to stay because the oil can tend to just like make your makeup slip right off and then you have to touch up. And when you touch up sometimes it can remove the makeup. So. Um, the techniques that I use in that video, which I'll link right up here, I kind of just like walk you through how to make all of that um, last better and all of that. So I will be doing those steps in this video, but I walk you through it more in depth in that video if you wanna check it out. Just a little, a little bit more. I haven't been getting the best sleep lately. I like about medium covered covered medium coverage concealers because i just feel like you can always layer them and add more if you need to and they don't cake up and look crazy i'm going to use my favorite cream contour at the moment this is the charlotte tilbury cream contour in the shade medium this is probably hands down my favorite cream contour bronzer ever just the formula is so nice it's kind of like a drier formula but it's still super creamy so i'm using a 157 from smith i'm just gonna pick it up here this is a nice brush because it's nice and angled so it gets the 
angles of your face really nicely. So I'm gonna start stippling this on the skin. And don't mind my tan. I have to wear motion sickness bands when I'm on a boat or driving in the backseat of a car or whatever. And we were out on the boat for a week. And yeah, I've got a pretty gnarly tan there. But you know what? Hey, they work. So it's worth the tan line. Get the sides. And then of course, the jawline. My favorite. Now for blush, I'm using one of my favorite cream blushes. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the color Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever. These blushes are some of the best blushes on the market. I think that they're incredible. The formula is amazing. They're very pigmented. They last long. They blend out really easily and they're very inexpensive. I just love these. I hope they come out with even more colors. They even have um, bronzers too if you're interested. I'm gonna use the Hollywood Complexion Brush from Charlotte Tilbury and just pick this up here on the brush and start stippling it on the cheeks. Ooh, see what I mean? That's just so pigmented. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks and this should fade by the end. It might be a lot right now, but once I'm done, it should, holy shit. <laughs> uh, once I'm done doing my eyeshadow, it should look decent. If not, then I'll show you how to fix it, but yeah. We should be good, hopefully. Some of this up on the forehead and everywhere else on my body. I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and my little poof and I'm gonna set the skin. I'm gonna try to avoid too much on the nose just because I'm so dry and I don't need much, but I'll do a little on the side still, but bring it here and set under the eyes there. You can hear that squeaking, I apologize. <laughs> We're doing laundry right now and something in there is squeaking like crazy. I'm gonna go in and just do a little bit of contouring with powder just to intensify things a little bit more. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit, one of my favorites and such an old school product that it just gives me the nostalgic feels. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually gonna mix all three of the dark colors together. I'm just gonna hit this on the jawline just to intensify it. I actually don't think I need much here, but we're gonna do it anyways. I'm mainly applying this product just so that I can um, contour my nose and then the colors are all balanced out on the face. Right here. Bring it along. The lips, I know my nose looks crazy. I'll fix it in a second. Kind of gives you like a pre lip liner lip line and it's easier to blend out. Then you go over with a little powder. I don't know, I feel like I already looked like I've got like a little going on. You know, the road in front of my house is 25 miles an hour, but these cops, they're going like 50 miles an hour. It's crazy. I get emergencies, but it's every day. I don't have children minus my fur dog but I wanna get a, one of those signs that says like, drive like your kids live here or something. Cause like, it's dangerous. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath highlighter. This is in the color Golden Moonlight. It's such a beautiful color. I think one of my favorite things with highlighters is finding a highlighter that basically is like your skin tone-ish, but only slightly lighter. I'm gonna grab a Fox 5 brush and that up here and just apply this to my cheekbones. Cupid's bow, I'm actually gonna grab it with my finger, do the nose. Okay, moving on to the eyes. Okay, my sister just called. She's renovating a house, so I had to help her with a floor decision. But while I was doing that, I filled in my brows. I used the Benefit uh, new brow pencil. It's the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. So this is just, just like a nice traditional pencil. I have the shade three. And then I went in and did a little bit of detail work with the Precisely My Brow Pencil, which just has like that thinner, uh, pencil to it, but um, I really liked this. It was nice because it got a 
like the majority of my brow filled in and then I could go in and just do some detail work that I needed. So I'm gonna use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes with. This is my personal favorite. And I'm gonna work it in on this brush and just start buffing it all over the lids. I am going, what did I just put on here? Damn it. Um, I need a new one of these. <laughs> this is really dried out. Um, I am going in with more bold shadows today, so I wanna make sure that I'm primed really good for them. Might actually go in with this flat side just to really get this on. I'm gonna be placing an order on Mac's website for just some single eyeshadows, and I need to get some more of this. It's been a while, and maybe I'll get some lipsticks too. So please leave your Mac recommendations down below in the comment section. I wanna make like a full palette of MAC shadows and just kinda get back to the basics. So I've been saying that for a while, but I'm gonna actually do it this week. So I am excited. And we are ready for eyeshadow. I'm excited. I ha feel like it's been forever since I've done like a cranberry or any sort of colorful look. So I am excited. So this palette just came out from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's the Strawberry Feels palette. This is what the inside looks like. It just looks like a very beautiful fall-esque palette, which is funny because this is, I think, a summer palette. So that just goes to show that depending on what your mindset is and how you look at something, you can see it as summer or fall. So keep that in mind. I know I'm putting out fall tutorials kind of early, not kind of early, I'm doing them early, but I'm trying to give you guys some inspiration for fall and a lot of you guys are also just into fall like I am, so. Um, but if you're not, this is technically a summery palette, so just take it for whatever you want. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with the color Lemonade. This looks like a nice light pinky color. A Fox One brush, pick this up here. And pop this in the crease. It's giving a nice light pinky color. This will kind of peek out from behind the deeper berry shades and help it all blend out. I'm also gonna bring this underneath. Make sure to put your chin down and eyes up when you're accessing the lower lash line. I'm gonna add a hint of Day Date, this like pinky coral color. Bring that through. Ooh, that's just gonna make that other one pop even more. Very pretty. Bring that underneath as well. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to a Fox 2 brush and I'm gonna pick up all the feels, which is the darkest, kind of like pinky, purple, cranberry sort of color. So I'm gonna pick that up on here and you can see it's very, very pigmented. And I'm gonna look down into my mirror and just start pushing this and patting it on the eyelid, on the outer part of the eyelid. I'm trying not to go too far up. So I can stay low. Oh, such a pretty color. I'm just gonna keep layering it on and blending as I go. Just really putting my pressure right here first. And then as I go up, it's as the product has already left the brush on the lid so then I can go in and kind of carry it in other places once there's not so much of that shadow on my brush. And I'm gonna bring this underneath, keeping this closer to the lash line than the other shades. Now that we've got some color on, we can kind of see what we're working with. So now I'm gonna take this closer to the crease. Now that we've got some blend going on with this color, it'll be easier to blend now than if we went directly in with it right away but this way we can make this a little bit smokier, brighter, more dramatic. That's why I love working with a lighter hand and then building up as we go. I'm gonna pick up Lemonade and Day Date mixed together and blend out the edges here. I want to add a little bit of this cobbler shade just cause it's a nice, delicious, like warm fall shade. So I'm gonna use the Fox 2 brush and I think I'm gonna bring this like right in the crease to add like some orangeyness. It's very subtle, but I, yeah, you probably can't see it. I can tell, but I think it adds like just a nice bit of warmth to this eye look. 
I love mixing warm shades and cool shades together, even with like a more neutral look. And that cobbler shade was very warm, so it kind of just helped everything balance out and it makes the other shades pop when you've got that. Um, different undertone next to each other. Grab a rougher 13 brush and I'm gonna go into Berry Whipped, which is, oh, that's a cute shade, um, which is this dark shade here. And I'm gonna bring this right here on the outer lid just to deepen this up even more. Give it that drama and smokiness. Just keeping it close down in here. Um, we don't want to bring this too far up because this one is the deepest color. So I'm keeping this here on the outer part of the lid. Okay, I'm going back in, just blending out all the edges. It's usually, I mean, you guys know the drill. It's constantly going back and forth, making sure everything's blended, hopping back over into the previous shades, just to make sure you've got a nice, seamless blend going on. I'm gonna take whatever's left over on this brush and I'm just gonna lay it on the lid here just to kind of blend out the whole lid here. I kind of like this just matte. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna grab my face highlighter, the Pat McGrath one, and that's what I'm gonna use to highlight the inner corner of the eye and my brow bone. And then once I get this up here, it's gonna look crazy at first, but then I can kind of mend the bright highlighter with those other shades. And we'll have a very nice little blend between the two right here. So I'm just kind of packing it on right now. You see how you can like just see that line kind of just going right over it. So now we've got like a nice little, yes, kind of want to mix. And I don't know if this is gonna look good or not but I kind of want to mix sugar coated and fresh picked together because this is very red and this is like light beige. And I kind of want to see if I can make like a like a lighter pinky kind of color. We'll see. I think I'm first going to start with fresh picked here on my finger. This is what, this is what it looks like up close. Lightly tap this right on the center of the eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. And now I'm gonna take sugar coated and pop that here. Okay. Color kind of has like a pinky hue to it, so I think this is gonna work. I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Day Date, that like pink color, and put that over top of sugar coated. I think I need just a brush. I'm like trying to be fancy with my fingers. I think I just need this brush. <laughs> okay, the shimmers in this palette aren't my favorite. I don't like the texture of them. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Morphe shimmery shadows, but the mattes were glorious. Like everything up until the shimmery part, I was obsessed with. I'm gonna layer my highlighter on my lid actually, because it has, you see how it's got that more like beaming reflectiveness? Um, and I think that's gonna help bring out, yes. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, just smoking up the bottom. Yeah. Okay, grabbing a nude liner for the waterline. Bet you couldn't guess that one. Just curling my lashes really quick. Popping on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I grabbed a little bit of this Fenty How Many Carrots highlighter. This gives a little bit of a like sparkle reflect, so I added a little bit a little bit of that onto the eyes just to add more of a glitter reflect. I just tapped a little bit on the lid. Um, I think it added a nice little pop, but not necessary, just something that I kind of felt like doing. So for eyelashes, I'm using these from Quartz Beauty. They're in the style Amethyst. And I'm just applying these for a little bit more of a bold statement lash. Oh my gosh, these lashes are stunning. This is my friend Crystal's brand. Um, I'll link them down below. Um, and I hope that this style is still available because I think she sent these to me like a year or two ago. So beautiful. I'm gonna have to order a bunch. Look at 
they're just like full and flirty and I feel like these would look good with a very dramatic look like what I've got on right now or something more natural too for like a major statement but oh, yes so pretty for my lips I want to do um I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do I don't know if I want to do like straight up neutral or do I want to add a little bit of pink I'm kind of thinking pink but anytime I do that I end up thinking it's just like too much side note do you see how the blush looks really good now it looked crazy earlier so I got this lip pencil from Anastasia. It's in the color Dusty Rose. I think this is gonna work really nicely. So um, I'm gonna start by lining the cupid's bow and the top lip. Get the lower lip, the lower lip, the bottom lip. Line. And you can see I'm always using my pinky to balance. So it's not like you're going in freehand because then you'll have a wiggly line. If you use your pinky, then it's more steady. And if you turn your lip liner on its side rather than the tip. Turning my head so I can access parts of my lip easier and then overlining. I love that because I feel like it still gives me that nude feel, but is colorful and really goes with the look. Hmm, and now I'm torn on what to do next. Um, I picked out two different lipsticks from Anastasia to potentially pair with this. I just don't even think it's necessary. I'm gonna add a little bit of Rose Dream from Anastasia, but I'm just gonna like lightly tap. And to complete the look, I'm gonna swap out my earrings for something a little bit more bold. It just goes nicely with the hairstyle and the shirt and it's just a vibe. I forgot the name of these. They're from Miranda Fry. I'll link them down below. And my discount code for 10% off Miranda Fry is just Brianna Fox. Um, that is affiliated just so you know. She has really nice high quality trendy pieces. So I'll link whatever jewelry I have on down below along with my discount code. But this is the final look. I love it. Um, imagine if you're wearing like, you know, a cute tank top and some shorts. This is super fun for like a summer night out, summer date night. But for fall, I think this is just such a fun, crisp fall, smoky, vampy look. I really love the lip. I love that the lip is, it's got some color, but it's also muted and kind of neutral in a way. I really love this eyeshadow look. I'm obsessed with these lashes. That palette was really nice and I never would have really, I don't know, I wouldn't have thought to go in with such a light color on the lid, but I think it really complements the darker colors and the more brighter cranberry colors, so yeah. This is what it looks like. The nose isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be with my dry, flaky skin, but here we are. This is the final look. So that completes everything for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I got this look, seeing what my tips and tricks were, and getting a little bit of fall inspiration. If you are also excited for fall, let me know down below and let me know what sort of looks you wanna see. I have so many plans and I have them all written out and all just different just different fall ideas to give you all of the fall feels because I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.